<laughs> Hi, I'm Tessa Smith with Mama's Geeky. Thank you for taking the time today. I really appreciate it. Of course. Great to see you. Yes, good to see you. Now, I loved this movie, but I've got to jump right in because one of my favorite things is the visuals. Um, you know, when you like, like in the magazine stand or like on the wall, what, like, what was the inspiration for all of those? You know, honestly, just research and street photography of the times. I was like looking at a bunch of um, street photography in, you know, because I, I grew up in California. I have been to Europe a, a handful of times in my life. I, I really, I think like my fear of just not getting it right was like kind of looming over me. And I just thought, I want this to feel like you've been transported in time in this movie. And so I was just going through all this street photography of, of France and Spain. And I kept on seeing all of these, um, these newsstands. And I was like, Oh my God, this is an amazing relic of the time. And I just thought, you know, I gotta, I gotta try and incorporate this in. And um, if I knew how hard it was, I don't know. Um, I don't know if I would do it again because it was such an undertaking. It was literally the first idea I came up with in the movie um, with in a really early draft, I kind of pitched the idea and it was, literally the last thing that we finished it was like within the last couple of days we got that final vfx shot and we we're able to get it into the movie it was it was a nightmare um so, uh, so yeah but thank you so much yeah worth it though because it's really cool and it's one of the one of my favorite elements of the film but um what do you do when you come into something that's a sequel right because this has happened before what is kind of the process of you know going back and and watching the first one taking certain things from that and weaving it all together yeah, you know, I think it's, um, I, I mean, I, I love The Conjuring Universe. I uh, I thought Corrin did an awesome job with that first movie, and there's so much great stuff in it. Um, what I really wanted to, when I rewatched his movie, I saw characters that I really loved. I, of course, everybody loves Val, like everyone loves the, uh, our, our, our villain. Um, but I also loved Irene and Jonas and, um, I mean, uh, Maurice. Um, and their, their, their kind of friendship and like flirtation, I thought was amazing. I was like, this is, these are great characters. And I just like, I, I kind of want to see them go further with that. I also just from a stylistic standpoint, I, I saw so much of, um, Bram Stoker's Dracula. I know that Corin drew a lot of inspiration from that. And I was just thinking, you know, how can you take that into the, the streets of Europe? How can you, you know, take, there's a lot of just this kind of great, old school cinematic magic in that in that movie and and it even echoes like silent movies you know there's something about that that has like such like deep roots in cinema and I was like how can I get some of that you know magic in this and and so I think it was like j just drawing on all of those things and you know how, how can we take the characters further how we can we go deeper into the, like the those kind of stylistic roots and take those further um because I you know I I, I like it's almost like improv you know it's like kind of you know storytelling improv where you're just kind of taking it and you're like say it's like yes and you know how do you take that core idea and you this core story and you like you take it further you know and you embrace what you what's there and and um and give just the audience more what do you think it is about horror that people like love so much because I mean I love the horror genre and I think that there are hardcore fans so what do you think it is about just horror genres in general. I, I think it's like a thrill ride. I think that that's like, you know, my favorite movie experiences have been thrill rides. And I think especially now where streaming is so good, there's so much great stuff on streaming and these kind of great longer form stories. What makes a theatrical experience? It's like that, you know, it's not the theatrical experience today is a little different than it was pre-COVID, it's a little different than it was 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It's always evolving. And and I think horror really is deliver, delivering on this real, it's a communal experience. It's it's a reason to turn off your phones. It's a reason to get together with people. And and I, I think it's just, it's the thrill. It's like being on a roller coaster. Yeah. And, and watching a movie like this in the theater, it was such a great experience because everyone's on edge, you know, and you're like, what's going to happen next? This is crazy. Um, but congratulations on the film. I really loved it. And I uh, can't wait to see what you do next. Oh, thanks so much. It was great talking to you. Thanks.